Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're starting to multiply fractions by fractions, or unit fractions by unit fractions. So uh, here's how it's going to work. For example, let's take a look at uh, problem 1D. We're taking 1 half and we're multiplying it by 1 fifth, or we're taking half of a fifth, or taking 1 fifth of a half. Let's draw what this is going to look like. I'm going to start with 1 half. So I'm going to make a little area model here. Here's my 1 half. Okay. And what we're going to do is take one-fifth of that, because we're multiplying one-fifth by the half. We're taking half a group of a fifth, or one-fifth of a group of a half. In this case, I'm going to take one-fifth a group of a half. So here's my one-half. Now I need to turn this, or break this into fifths. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four. So I just took my half, and I broke it into fifths. So I need a fifth of a group of a half. And we're going to shade it in this way like that. And the question is, what is this guy worth? Well, obviously it's one box, but in fractions I need equal parts. So that one box compared to the whole would mean that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total boxes, and I need just one of them. So one half of one fifth, or one half groups of a fifth, equals one out of 10. Now this would work the other way as well. Let's say I started with the fifth and I broke my box into my unit, my one hole into fifths. One, two, three, four. So I have five parts here. I have one of them. And I need to take half of that, half of that fifth, which means I'm going to separate this in half. And the question is, how much is this one box worth? Well, if I continued and I made all the boxes the same, uh, the same size, that would mean, once again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 total boxes, and the part that's fully shaded in is 1, so 1 tenth. So 1 half of 1 fifth equals 1 tenth, or 1 fifth of 1 half equals 1 tenth as well. Okay, and that works because of the commutative property. Okay, the order doesn't not matter. So my drawing, I can draw either way. I can start with the one half and split that into fifths, or start with the fifths and split that into halves. Okay? Let's do one of the word problems. Let's talk about Noah. All right, Noah, he mows half of his property. So let's draw that. Here's his property, and he mows half of it. Okay, let's shade in half of it. This is what he's mowing. Okay. Now it says here he decides to use one fifth of the wild area. So I guess this is the wild area. Wild area. One fifth of that for vegetable garden. So I'm going to take this wild area. I'm going to break it into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And he's going to use one fifth of this. So he's going to use this part here. You can draw this in a bunch of variated ways here, but a bunch of different variations, but this is what I'm going to do here. And I'm left with one part. Out of a total, well, the first, I can't count my total just yet because I have to make sure I'm going to separate all of this into its parts so they're all of equal, all of equal size. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? So he's going to use 1 tenth of the area the property for a vegetable garden. Okay, now what does that look like again? It's taking the one half, taking half the property. I'm going to take one fifth of that half, and I'm left with one tenth. Okay, so that's the deal, folks. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.